Hello guys, how are you doing? So today's video is about to be about this really sexy makeup look for Valentine's Day. That's fine if you're single. Girl, I feel you to the heart. I'm single as F, but I don't care. That does not make me stop. If I were you, I would just wear this makeup with a girl tonight. I would like, girl, you all set to go. And before I jump to the video, I want to apologize for not uploading a video. I've just been so busy. I just recently moved to a new house. That's why everything is so different. And also, I want to apologize if in the video I kind of look too much over here to the center. And over here, as you can see, I have my mirror over here. And I have the monitor over here, which I can see myself. If I'm on focus, if I'm in the frame, stuff like that. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Javier, and you should definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I think I'm funny, so you should definitely subscribe to my channel. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give a big fat thumbs up. And yeah, let's jump to the video, guys, shall we? Okay, guys, so first of all, before I start the video, I want to say, if I'm looking down this way or this way, I apologize, it's because I have over here I have my mirror over here which I need to because I need to see what I'm doing and over here I have my monitor for my camera to see that I'm on frame and the camera is focusing on me so yeah if you see me like right now I'm looking there that means that I'm just looking at the, uh, the monitor and if I'm looking down here it's because I'm looking at my mirror because if I pull it up a little bit you, you will see it so that's why so that's, this is the most comfortable way to have my mirror set up. So, so yeah, first of all, I'm going to be priming my eyelid and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So yeah, I'm going to be using this primer over here. And I'm going to be applying to the lid. I usually apply a lot to it because it is Valentine's Day and you want to stay all day long, so. There we go. Also, I already have my face done, I have my foundation done, I have everything done because I don't know. I just want to have everything done. I didn't know what to do at first, so I just literally just sit down over here and look all my eyeshadow palettes. I was like, what should I do? Really didn't have like a pink color, but I had like a lot of red, so I was like, okay, I'm here. Think outside the box. So I came out with this look which is perfect for Valentine's Day, which is around the corner. And also, it is perfect for any occasion that you want to use it. So, it's really dramatic though, but I love it though. So now, I'm going to be taking my Morphe 25B palette, which is the, the limited edition palette that they came out with. So if you don't have this palette, I don't know if they're gonna, if they're gonna bring it back, I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I got my hands on them, both of them, so I was super, super excited. It took like for a week and a half for them to ship out this palette, so there were a lot of people. It sold out in less than five hours, I believe it did. So yeah, I was super glad. I was second guessing if I wanted to get it, if I did not want to get it, so yeah. I'm gonna be taking this color over here, which is like a nice peachy shade over here. And I'm going to be taking with the MAC 221 brush, which is like like a little fluffy brush. And this is going to be our transition shade for the lid. And you don't really need this palette. You can actually use any transition shade, basically. So it's just basically up to your preference. Okay, so now that I have the transition shade going on right now, so I'm going to be going with a MAC 224 brush, which is like a blending brush. I'm going to be taking this color over here, which is like a nice brown color. It's not really dark brown, it's not really a light brown, it's like a medium brown. So I'm going to take it with this brush, and I'm going to be sweeping that. I'm going to be using as my second transition shade as well. But this one's going to add more depth to the eye, and that's what we want, more depth. <laughs> how it's looking right now it's turning out great so now let's go to the crazy crazy and kind of scary color but it's like I promise you guys once you 
get a brush and get a color is not that scary. I'm gonna be using the Manny MUA palette in collaboration with Makeup Gig. It's backwards, sorry. Sorry, it's backwards. So yeah, before I open the palette, I also want to apologize. It looks busted the palette, I know that for sure. It fell, it broke my heart, but what can you do? So yeah. So I'm gonna be using this red color over here, and also I'm gonna I was telling you that it's busted, I know it fell, and this shadow literally exploded all over the palette. And I'm gonna be taking this MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna be taking this color. I know it looks scary, but I promise you guys it's not that scary. It is easy, easy color to work with. So I'm gonna be taking the palette, the palette, and the brush, and I'm just gonna dip it a little bit. Just start small and then start building your way out. What I do is just kinda dab it a little bit like two times, maybe three the max, and kind of just tap the X's off. And just kinda first I start dabbing and building in sorry I have to really to look close and once you get like a little bit on the lid you just take it all over the lid and kind of whatever is left on the brush kind of take a little bit on the crease so you can blend it out so we can get that blown out effect that we're going to so yeah. and just like any brush I'm gonna be using the one that I use the transition chain and kind of blend it out okay so I'm gonna go back with the brush that we were applying the medium brown color and just kind of going to blend the edges we don't have harsh lines everything looks smooth and well blended so yeah keep adding guys don't be scared i know it looks super scary but i promise i promise promise <laughs> once you do with this eye look you're gonna be pleased with the result so yeah Okay, so I think I'm quite happy how it looks right now. And yeah, now let's move to the next step, which is gonna be darkening a little bit. So I'm gonna be going back to the Morphe palette. I'm gonna be taking the 25A palette. And I'm gonna be using the black color over here, and I'm gonna go with the maroon color as well. So we want to darken a little bit the outer. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of take a little bit of black first. I know it looks super scary taking black with the red color, the red shadow again. And just kind of darken it, but just start small, like I said. Just really small step, baby step. It doesn't have to be like bam. When I do, I just go back with a brush that I was applying in Maru and kind of just. Blend it in. There you go, so I'm quite happy now it's turning out. Sorry, I gotta do that. There you go, so now that we have the outer crease, outer crease, now that we have the outer B darkening a little bit, I'm gonna be going with this small Vera Mona brush which is like a little I don't know how you call this brush but yeah this brush and I'm gonna be going again with a little bit of the dark brown color that we used before for the crease and I'm just gonna be putting all over uh, the bottom lash line there we go already it's adding a lot of smokiness to it so it's style that we want a little bit smokiness a little bit of drama because yeah girl you're about to break some heart after we add that brown shade i'm gonna go with, back to the red kind of maroony shade of the Mani Amuet palette and just adding it as well because of course we have to match everything so yeah there you go now that we have that now we have that now we have that going on. I'm gonna be tie lining my water uh, my waterline 
and I'm gonna be using the NYC pencil, black pencil. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have we have timeline our waterline, everything is coming up together. So I'm gonna be going out of camera to put the lashes, my eyeliner, and my <laughs> a lip. And for the lips, I'm gonna be using this sample size by Cap on D and the color Vampira, which is like a this dark uh, red color. And for the lashes, I'm gonna be using Hassle lashes in the style iconic. So, yeah, I'm gonna be going out of camera, I'm just gonna do, be doing that real quick and gonna come back and show you the real deal, you know? So, be right back, guys. Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Like an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running, no Hold on, don't let go Running, running, no Keep running, So yes guys, so this was the video about this really sexy makeup look. I know I told you girl it was gonna be an easy look like I'm always, I'm easy, okay, okay. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give a big fat thumbs up. And girl, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel by now, what are you doing with your life? Why you haven't hit that red button down there? Hello? Like... So yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like, comment, and share and please let me know what other video you want to see in the future. I'm trying to see if I can film a uh, makeup routine or like a my quick fix to work, the makeup that I do to work because I, I don't wear a full face of makeup so probably that's coming your way. So yes. So yes guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you so much and please, please, please stay tuned for more videos like this. Bye, guys. I'm left behind.